Hello. It's almost Thanksgiving, so happy holidays to you. I just wanted to share some thoughts. I've um, been reading um, books about the battlefield of our mind and how we can, um, you know, get better control of our thought life. And because that is so important, because you know what our thoughts um, control our attitudes, and our attitudes control our actions. And our actions, boy, they can get us in some trouble, or they can get us going in a positive direction. Anyway, um, my husband's been preaching a lot recently about uh, what it means to be free and um, using the children of Israel in their um, break from Egypt and their time in the wilderness. And um, anyway, I just wanted to share with you um, several what um, this book calls uh, wilderness mentalities and I'm just gonna give you three of them today but uh, the premise is uh, the children of Israel wandering around in the um, wilderness which should have took 11 days I mean, that's like devastating and it took them 40 years I mean talk about going about it the hard way uh, we're not the first ones to make it hard they did it too um, anyway there's a scripture, Deuteronomy 1 and 6, where um, the Lord our God said to us in Horeb, you have dwelt long enough on this mountain. In other words, it's time to move on. And we, they spent 40 years doing that, but we, we look at that and we're astonished. Like, oh man, those idiots, I cannot believe it took them 40 years. Hard-headed, you know, um, but... We shouldn't be so shocked because many of us do the very same thing. And the result um, is <laughs> we keep going around and around the same mountains just like they did. And um, instead of making progress, we'll circle the same mountain, we'll climb it or almost get up, fall back down, almost get up, circle it around. And instead of making progress, we're just kind of stuck in this um, repetitive cycle. I think the Lord wants to say you've dwelt long enough on the same mountain. It's time to move on. You need to set your mind and keep it. Did you know that you can set your mind and keep it set? Excuses aside, you can do it. Because the Bible says you can in Colossians 3 and 2. And set your minds and keep them on what is above the higher things, not on the things that are on the earth. If he tells you you can keep it and set it, you can keep it and set it because he won't tell you to do something that you cannot do. Okay, so wilderness mentality number one, boys and girls, men and women, saints of God. Uh, wilderness mentality, that means it's bad, it's negative, it's not good. You don't want to have this mentality. My future is determined by my past and my present. Wrong. That's not true. Your future is determined by your God by the Word of God and by you. Your future is not determined by your past. And I could go on and on about that, but um, an attitude of gratitude and not negativity and whiny and complaining uh, will help you move forward. Don't complain about everything that's happened to you and everything that's gonna happen to you and why you can't, but set your mind on what you can. Lift up your eyes and look um, towards the Lord. Okay, number two. <laughs> Someone do it for me. I don't want to take responsibility. Boy, that is so true, especially in our culture and society where everything is convenient and we can delegate almost anything because we're a, a service-based um, culture. But, uh, you know, personal responsibility cannot be delegated. It just can't. You have to study and show yourself approved. Um, it's like uh, the scripture about the ant. I love it. Um I mean, it's pretty hard. The Bible is pretty pretty plain spoken, pretty blunt, but you know that's what we need. We don't need to be petted and told how awesome we are. Sometimes we need to be told, hey, get up, you lazy bum, <laughs> or, you know, that is a really rotten attitude, or, you know, you're really making some bad choices here. Um, you know, we need to be able to receive that because that's how the Bible talks to us very plainly because it knows our hearts, it knows what's best for us, and it, it wants to determine our future. Um, and not have it dictated by our past. Okay, so the one we're on right now is you cannot de delegate. <laughs> you cannot delegate personal responsibility. Uh, like the ant. To go to the ant, you sluggard. I love that. It's like, you loser. 
consider her ways. See, ants are girls, uncles are boys. <laughs> consider, okay, sorry. Which having no chief, no overseer or ruler, nobody up in your business checking on you, spying on you. She provides her food in the summer and gathers her supplies and harvest. She takes personal responsibility for what she's going to need in the future and begins to make arrangements for it today. It don't matter if anybody's watching her or, you know, those few minutes whenever she's out in public and, um, you know, wants to make sure everybody thinks she's had it together. She's really got to have it together because when winter comes, you know, she's got to have done her homework. So um, don't delegate your personal responsibility. Dig out your own um, character and fortitude and walk with God for yourself. Okay, moving on. The third one. I'm trying not to be long today. Mm -hmm. The third uh, wilderness mentality, which is bad, is please make everything easy. I can't take it if things are too hard. You know, that's how the children of Israel, these are developed from their um from their experiences there. You know, everybody's got a wishbone, but not everybody's got a backbone. Hello. Ouch. You know, we like to dream and, and you know, um, imagine all the wonderful things that we can do. And we like to just take our little magic wand, you know, like Disney, and make it happen. Excuse me. I like the bottom of my hair. Um, but, this is really magic wand. just a straw. Um, we have to have a backbone and some fortitude and make it happen. It is not going to be easy. Nobody ever said it was, but the Bible does say that the Father, our Lord, our God, will give you a comforter, the Holy Ghost, which, why people think that's optional, I don't understand. You need all the help you can get, I promise. He's our counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and our standby. That's what that means. That's what comforter means. That He will remain with you forever. You know, there's an easy way and a hard way, and the easy way is really crowded. It's full, it's packed, you know, uh, but the hard way, not so much, but the hard way leads to the right way. Anyway, so hang tough, stay in there. Nobody said it would be easy, but success follows suffering. He that endureth to the end, that is the key. We have to endure, and we have to find our sufficiency in Christ. And I will get to another one next week, the next wilderness mentality. Don't you just love cliffhangers? Is I can't help it. I'm just addicted to grumbling, fault-finding, and complaining. We're going to debunk that myth. Myth busters, according to the Bible. <laughs> Hope you have a great day. And remember, your past is not determined. Wait, your present, your future. <laughs> I really need to practice. Your future is not determined by your past or your present. Number two, you cannot delegate personal responsibility. The mentality is, can I delegate this? Can someone do this for me? And number three is, it's too hard. Can you make it easier? Those are all bad things. We want to do opposite of that. So take control of your mind. Be steadfast. Get your backbone and connect it to your wishbone and do something great for God. And enough with the excuses. Have a great day.